new Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh vowed to be a justice for all Americans after that fierce confirmation fight. But President Trump was anything but unifying. He further stoked the partisan battle in his remarks. For the president, all of it was aimed at energizing Republicans with just four weeks until Election Day. A primetime victory lap after a bruising confirmation battle. President Trump overseeing the ceremonial swearing in of Brett Kavanaugh, delivering a remarkable apology to the new Supreme Court Justice. On behalf of our nation, I want to apologize to Brett and the entire Kavanaugh family for the terrible pain and suffering you have been forced to endure. Adding this pointed remark. Our country. A man or a woman must always be presumed innocent unless and until proven guilty. And with that, I must state that you, sir, under historic scrutiny, were proven innocent. Thank you. It's Mr. Trump's second appointment to the high court in less than two years. Kavanaugh sworn in by retiring Justice Anthony Kennedy, for whom he once clerked. So help me God. With all of his fellow justices looking on, Kavanaugh delivering his own message to a nation divided over his new role. The Supreme Court is a team of nine. And I will always be a team player. And becoming emotional as he thanked his family and friends. Lift up your friends, love your friends. I love all my friends. The new justice attempting to strike a unifying tone. My goal is to be a great justice for all Americans. A stark contrast to his fiery defense over a week ago in the wake of a sexual assault allegation he denies. This whole two week effort has been a calculated and orchestrated political hit. Overnight, Democrats lashing out, vowing to mobilize their base ahead of the midterms, now just one month away. We stand together and work together in the next 30 days, calling people out to go to the polls. But President Trump is aiming to keep the momentum going, traveling to Iowa, Pennsylvania, Ohio, and Kentucky this week alone. Kristen, you mentioned the elections there. How emboldened is this president feeling right now? Oh, he is emboldened, Craig. There's no doubt about that. Look, President Trump has called the Kavanaugh confirmation battle a rallying cry for Republicans. The question, though, is will that momentum last through Election Day before the Kavanaugh fight? Remember, Democrats had a clear enthusiasm edge, but recent polls show Republicans are gaining steam. And adding to that, the president has had a strong stretch. The unemployment rate, for example, is at a near historic low. But there's no doubt Democrats are fired up. They're aiming to mobilize women voters who may be opposed to to the Kavanaugh confirmation. And remember, history, history shows us that turn, voters typically turn out when they're angry. For his part, President Trump heads to battleground Iowa later today. Craig, guys, back to you. Hard to believe the midterms are just four weeks away. Kristen Walker from the White House. Kristen, thank you. <laughs>